I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Hello, hello my high tribe. It's Queenie Urbane and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an update on my gastritis. I have gotten so many comments on my last two videos. And first, I want to thank you guys all so much for just leaving such kind words as well as uh, taking my advice. So many people said like the, my advice really helped them and they're really grateful. But I received a lot of messages as well as DMs on Instagram of subscribers asking about um, what else did I do besides those two things to keep gastritis away as well as explaining their story to me um, and I one want to wish you guys well you know definitely this is so hard to deal with and have in your life and I totally understand I lived it and I still uh you know and technically uh living it but just doing things to keep it at bay and to be honest those two things are what I do to really really tackle my gastritis but overall I have made some changes just to my lifestyle and I think that also played into you know my gut health so without rambling on too much let me just dive straight into uh my update and answering you guys questions on um gastritis okay so just jumping straight in what I did or continue to do to keep my gastritis away is that I have changed my diet a lot like I eat way more greens now I eat a lot more vegetables um, and plant-based proteins or just proteins in general I try to not eat sugar as much I try not to eat uh, milk or a lot of dairy and whenever I do start eating those things uh, I notice a change in my stomach and it starts to like hurt again and I just go back to my regimen and you know double down on my celery juice and my um, green juice so it's not I'm not strict with it in terms of I have to only eat basically greens or a clean eating lifestyle um, not at all I still go out I still live my life but I do typically eat that whenever I'm cooking for myself or whenever I'm at home. Now, this didn't happen because I got gastritis. Um, this more so happened because, what well, kind of it did. Like, that's what introduced me to that lifestyle. And then I started competing in pageantry um, in my first ever beauty pageant recently. And for the months that I was preparing for that, I had to clean, um, eat clean from my coach's advice and through that my health really improved in terms of I could eat more of whatever I wanted but because I had gastritis if I really took it too far in terms of okay I'm having maybe a glass of wine three days in a row like that's me literally you are trying to hurt yourself right now like in your stomach or something and because i'm going out too much or just like socializing you know that is where i'm like okay especially if i'm eating if i'm drinking wine i'm most likely eating out with friends and stuff like that so like that's when my stomach will literally start to show like little baby signs of like okay something like you need to change this because there are times where I'm not feeling that pain and the times where I'm not feeling that pain is when I'm eating much better. So for the people that are really struggling with their gastritis or their stomach problems, their gut problems, I definitely consider you to change your diet. But some of the stories I have heard, you guys, I'm not a doctor, so I definitely can't give you like more advice on what to do. Um, in terms of like if you're vomiting all the time because I've gotten a lot of comments of that my gastritis never got to that point where I was vomiting it got to the point where I was getting like little like almost up chucks but it wouldn't come all the way out and that's how I knew something was wrong so like little things like that or just my stomach constantly hurting or heartburn um, anytime that I ate that was my problems so I 
advise you to definitely talk to your doctor or consult a doctor for symptoms more extreme than that. Um, and I just honestly can't give more advice on that. I'm so sorry. I'm really not a doctor. I'm just a girl who likes to live her best life. But, you know, now that I have this condition, I have to work my way around it so I can still thrive, be healthy. I don't want to just survive. I want to thrive and um, have energy to do the things that I want to do, which is chase my dreams. So with that being said, I'm going to dive actually in into my actual symptoms because people asked me that and I don't think I really spoke very detailed about that in my other two videos. The symptoms that I had was heartburn, stomach pain after I ate stuff, anything, and also and also no appetite. So stomach pain, like specifically in like the lower region area, that was where my pain was. It was heartburn, I couldn't eat, I had no appetite. Um, and it was weird because I needed to eat, but I felt like my stomach almost shrunk to nothing. <laughs> like I was so skinny and that too, I would feel bloated after eating things and it would hurt really, really badly, like really bad to the point of like heartburn was now developing too. Like I don't know what was going on, but it was a combination. The thing that really was not really an indicator to me, um, I had a friend who works in a medical field and he's the one who noticed like you should get checked um, cause we went out to eat once and um, we had sushi and I, was in such pain, but like a bloating pain that was so just painful. I can't even describe it, but I felt so bloated that I was gonna explode. The way the person realized something was wrong was when I told them that I always have stomach problems for the last like two years and I just take painkillers every day. There was a point where I was taking painkillers every single day just to like eat. <laughs> and I didn't think anything of it, like I, didn't go to the doctor often. Um, I had no one around me that um, would know these signs. Now that I talk about gastritis, people like talk about it, but before I swear I was diagnosed, I never heard of this. So um, I just was like living my life and my mechanism was like, okay, before I eat a meal, I'm gonna take painkillers, which was so bad for gastritis like that's what was making it develop worse and worse so um yeah it got to the point that one day i ate a meal and i was almost crippled after eating the meal like the pain was so bad and um i had to go get checked out and i did and that's what they told me that you know it's gastritis they gave me a uh, treatment and with the treatment is when I started my holistic research because the treatment just was not for me like it was probably a good treatment but I'm terrible with medication as I said in my other video they gave me some type of medication something that starts with the F um, and then I know I also was taking Nixium um, to help with the heartburn and it was also helping with the acid in my stomach so while taking those two things and um, you know dealing with the gastritis, I just cut my diet down at that time. When I'm talking about this was peak, I went through the worst pain ever that I got, you know, basically hospitalized. I uh, cut my diet down to clean eating food. And I'm talking about, I cried the whole way through. I wasn't like physically crying. I'm like just a girl from New York and mad dramatic. Like I was just talking smack the whole way through, but I stuck to it. So that's where that video of meal prep ideas I um, came up because I was really making a bland but straight vegetable boiled chicken food stuff like that. Um, and through eating like that, taking the medication, but I wasn't consistent. That's the thing. I was supposed to take it like two a day, two a night. I took one one day, one one night, sometimes forgot one morning, and sometimes forgot one night. Like it was like, like I was just bad with it. I didn't do it based off of the regimen. Do not recommend, please don't do that. And don't think I'm telling you that, but that's why I switched over. Cause I was like, I can't keep not being able to eat. And, and even when I was eating those things too, my, eat, my stomach would hurt a little tiny bit, but just not as much as it was when um, I was just eating whatever I felt like. Once I started doing my own research, I bought um, some book. Also, uh, just looking up things online on what's safe to eat or what's like a superfood that could help me because I know vegetables 
are the real medicine like I'm not a, some old like hippie holistic person or anything like that but I definitely think like health comes from what you eat it's all what you put in your body and this journey going through this has really taught me that like it made me sensitive now to my body and everything but I'll go into that in the last part but yeah, so um, doing that and then now trying, okay, I'm already being inconsistent, but I am still taking my medication. I'm just not doing it good. Like I'm doing, I'm, I'm skipping a day or I'm doing one, um, two in the morning, but I forgot to do it at night or I did two at night and forgot to did it, do it in the morning. Like things like that while now incorporating the celery juice um, cleanse that I did, that's what... I felt like ultimately ended my gastritis because as the days kept going, I was able to eat food and feel less pain. Like it was going from a lot of pain to a little bit gradually. And over this period, it was like, it was like a three week period. It was two weeks of me being inconsistent and terrible with my medication, but still been now being able to eat a little bit, but I've also changed my diet. So I'm not eating anything I like anyway. And then it's the last week where I like finally did some research, bought celery, did the celery juice cleanse, which you guys saw in the video because I filmed it live, like as I was going through it and how at the end of that, while also inconsistently still taking my medication, at the end, I went out to eat at a restaurant and I ate anything I wanted, but I still chose better options based off of my new, basically lifestyle of food. And it was fine like I literally didn't have pain after two years almost two and a half years almost actually damn wait I started feeling this pain junior year of college damn wow okay so like that was like three years almost there's junior year senior year and then that was my a year after I graduated so three years of feeling intense pain um well not intense pain but like gradually having pain and taking pain medication um to eat <laughs> to the climax and it being solved and like not really solved but like in three weeks for the first time being able to like eat a meal and be fine and like i was told like i could have died like i could have internally bled one day and like literally everyone's just like what happened to Queenie and it's like oh I've been eating garbage for so long and taking pain medication ruining my stomach lining that I am uh now deceased <laughs> you know <laughs> like that's kind of what could have happened and you know I just feel like God put that person in my life for a reason to steer me on a different path in terms of my health like I never paid attention to my health before like I just always thought like I look good I'm healthy and I feel like I'm fit I work out I definitely do work out but I eat whatever I want um you know I've always assumed I was healthy and it was literally a condition going on that was just like I never questioned why do I have to take pain medication all the time to eat I swear I never did <sighs> so crazy I know what I've learned from this whole experience is that um, one, I still experience stomach pain never to that extent again that it happened but um it's when I'm eating terribly. Right here, a little weird feeling that my stomach is now, I'm sensitive to, um, cause it, it, it's always started like that, but I never, uh, I never really paid attention to it, but like now I'm sensitive to it. So I notice it and my body's telling me like, girl, for those that's not at the point that it's like, if you're vomiting every day, I am so sorry. And I am literally going to pray for you after this video. Um, and like for my subscribers that's going through stuff like that. Or like intense pain where they're like hospitalized is every day because I won't have any advice for that. I can just tell my journey in this. But, you know, I pray that you can find something or if you're able to change your diet, like to the point where you're force feeding yourself to eat like a bare avocado. And like, I know that sounds like, if you're not like a vegan or something like that, like that sounds kind of gross to just eat an avocado, no salt, no anything, like just, but that's kind of how I got with this to change my stomach. Like I started eating vegetables raw, like biting a cucumber and it was disgusting. <laughs> like I'm not saying like, oh yeah, that's a, it's a party time. No, like it's like 
the food is affecting me so i have to pick better food even if i hate it and if i hate it i just gotta force myself to eat it and to be honest while i would force myself to eat a lot of meals um because <laughs> um, i still to this day just do not like healthy food that much like it's like a few months of this being my journey and it still doesn't taste like something like oh i prefer this like it's it's still not like that i just at this point, it's discipline and seeing food as energy, not as really taste. But when I go out, that's for like taste and like boom, boom. So that's why I give myself those luxuries of going out to eat. It's just balance, of course. So, you know, if you are going through something to that extent, I pray you find something to help you with that journey. But for those that if my symptoms sounds like what you went through or what you're going through or even a little similar and you realize that even if you're taking your medication, you're not really changing how you eat. Like you're choosing more processed food regardless. Like you're not eating clean and raw, you know, as basically 70% of your meals um, or at least 65% of your meals because that's what I think is for me. Like I eat very clean like 65 to 70 percent of the time and then the other 30 percent i do whatever um and if i increased it i probably would you know gastritis would even be a thing for me but i still gotta live my life so whatever if you're someone who my story sounds similar to yours then you know try changing your diet try eliminating milk try eliminating uh you know dairies try eliminating um, processed food and just see how your body feels like that's all I can say is see how your body feels because that's the only thing I paid t attention to throughout this entire journey is every time I ate something how does my stomach feel and I promise you when I ate the nasty greens my stomach felt happy my brain felt happy I had clearer thoughts like it was my anxiety was gone like I it overall made me better so I didn't deal with gut problems but when I eat bad food I kind of immediately notice it I still got my celery juice uh, this one is from the store though so it's a lot more stronger a lot lot a lot more stronger it's um, cold-pressed Got this at Whole Foods, and then I'm still taking my Moringa, but I don't have capsules right now, so I'm just taking the powder. I have a bunch of these little powders right here that I also got from Whole Foods, and literally, um, I just put a spoonful, because there's five servings in one, and it's the same amount as the capsule, and that's how I'm, I'm taking it. I thank you guys all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Be sure to subscribe and thumbs up this video. That would really help get my channel out into the algorithm, you know, promote it more, help more people, people that are going through this. Like, I'm just giving my tips. This is what I did, and I want us all to not, like, be in pain. Bye. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about.